welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jessica and i created dolled up by jay so in today's video very exciting i have a box of kylie swim oh my gosh i'm gonna open it for you show you what's inside i put out a poll on my instagram stories and you guys said you wanted to see me review this swim line maybe it's because i'm always brutally honest maybe you're just curious whatever brought you to this video thank you for watching without further ado i'm gonna get to it what's weird i noticed is that the box is already like cut open which is so strange i did have to get this shipped to a peel box in the u.s then shipped to dubai which is where i live because kylie swim doesn't ship to dubai just fyi okay so opening up the box look it's kind of like lackluster to be honest like it says kylie jenner and then there's nothing really it's just like two pieces so i got the red triangle bikini they had on their website but i mean it's cute on the inside i just thought maybe there'd be like a little card or just something else you know special so i got the size uh medium in the gradient triangle bikini top and gradient bikini bottom so these are the bottoms and one thing so they do come with this cute little pink tag these look really small like really, really small. Like this is full on thong city. Now let's open the top before I tell you any of my thoughts. Let's just show you the goods first. I do like the little tags. Um, they are cute. I mean, it's totally just wasteful garbage, but it's cute. So this is the medium. Okay, all right, all right. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so triangle top here. I didn't actually notice in the photos that it was a gradient. In the photos, it looked totally just like a red. So it is cute though. Now I saw a lot of reviews on the swimwear going viral on TikTok and a lot of people were just really tearing it to shreds and I was like, okay, I'm gonna come into this completely open-mindedly. This is someone's product in the day, no matter how much money they have. I mean, let's see how the quality is and I won't get biased on negative reviews I've seen. So feeling the swimwear now, it is quite thin. Um, I was honestly expecting worse. The reviews I saw said it was like completely paper thin. But I'm just like, you know what? This is unlined. What do you expect? Like, it wouldn't be paper thin if there was removable padding and another insert. I prefer thinner swimwear. It's more comfortable to wear. So honestly, I thought I was going to go into just like hating the quality from the reviews I've seen. And so far, I really am not bothered. Like, it's standard thin material. It's not lined. So if you're someone that prefers not to have, you know, your nipples kind of poke out when it's cold, this won't be for you 100%. There's not even like an option to remove padding. There's just no padding. Now looking at the stitching here, honestly, like maybe that person, maybe those people who posted those reviews that went so viral just had a bad batch or something. Because if you look at the stitching, I'll show you this is the one side and the other side. It honestly doesn't look like there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing I can say that's bad about this. And I'm brutally honest. And it does have, one thing I do like as well is these little ties. They are kind of like a metal. They're almost like a champagne-y kind of like rosy gold. I don't know if you can really tell, or maybe they're just gold. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I do like that touch. Let's look at the bottoms now as well, just to compare the stitching. Um, I mean, it is like a tad bit uneven on the top here, but I mean, it's really nothing like to get offended about or get crazy about. I mean, that's that. The only thing I don't like here is the Kylie logo because the, the material is quite thin, not necessarily see-through, but I just really hope that you can almost see through the ring light. The Kylie logo does kind of poke out. So if you were to get this wet, Okay, hey, whoa, I needed to add this part to the video because holding it up to the light, you can definitely see through with the logo, which is not cute. So let's get it wet and see if it gets even worse. Maybe I'll just get this wet right now and show you guys. Let's see. As I feared, the logo is definitely prominent. Ugh, that's so frustrating. Why is this so big? Why? Why did she do that? It would have been not that noticeable being somewhat see-through if it wasn't for the fact that this friggin' logo looks like that. So one thing I do like about the bottoms that's really hard to find, if not ever found on bottoms like this is the adjustable strap. One thing that actually really deters me from a bathing suit is if I see that the bottoms are not a string tie, because everyone's body is made differently, like I find sometimes I'll be 
a you know a larger medium top and then either a small or medium bottom because if the bottoms don't have a string tie sometimes the small it just does the unattractive thing where like it goes into your hips I mean my arm doesn't have a lot of like fat on it but you know where it goes into your hips that's the effect that you get on your hips it's just like not cute no one wants that it doesn't make you feel confident when you're going to the beach or the pool so I do really like that they thought of that in their design process that you can adjust the straps because that's like huge and it basically just says made in China 85% polyester 15% spandex machine wash cold do not tumble dry do not dry clean so basically air dry these now, I kind of don't mind the gradient. It's kind of cute. I really, again, did not see it on the model at all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on this swimsuit and tell you guys like what I think about it, the comfort, quality, etc. Can I just say that the way they've tied this is really ridiculous and it's like, I can't even undo this knot. And so I might, this bikini might be like too tight around me, which is really frustrating, but like I literally cannot undo it. Like I'm going to have to dig in with my nails and I'm just like impatient and it's just like it's so tight i can't even undo it uh okay let's try this one just to see it looks a little bit more forgiving okay if i can get one all right we can work with this we can work with this okay so i put the bikini on we accomplished that sorry about the dressing i had a mole removed cancer prevention i can't help it that's what it is this is where my uh watch time is gonna spike because all the pervs are here now so yeah i mean i think it's actually really cute back it is like this I was able to adjust it and I still have some room there. So, I mean, I really like that it's adjustable. And then you can also go like 90 style and put it down, which like I'm not a fan of lately. I like to have like more of like a high, you know, look in situation. So it is definitely like a little bit nipply as you can tell by just like looking at the fabric. I do think that the gradient looks pretty nice. It's actually like kind of cool. I'm digging it. Honestly, like I thought I was going to hate this bikini just by the reviews I saw and I came into it just being like okay this is gonna suck and I'm actually like really pleasantly surprised so it's really too bad that like people have received items that are just like defective and they should definitely try and contact the company and get some sort of a refund or a replacement I mean, I know a lot of it sold out, unfortunately. And also I will say that the price point for a bikini was 80 US dollars. So 40, I believe it was $40 per piece. It's really honestly not bad considering the swimwear industry. I'm not gonna go and say this is the same quality as Target. And I'm not gonna mention certain brands, but certain affordable brands that I have used recently. I don't think that their material is as good as this. I actually think this material is better and more comfortable and I don't really like a material that's overly thick. To me, sometimes it feels almost a little bit cheap. So honestly, like I approve this bikini. I haven't tried the rest of the swim. This is all I was able to get my hands on. The one pieces that I liked were sold out, unfortunately. But I know, honestly, like so far so good. I love the adjustable straps. I love that you can put them up higher on your hips. And I don't mind an unlined bikini personally. I think that it just looks a little bit more natural. I find the padding sometimes just looks like it sticks out on your body. So overall, I do actually like this bikini a lot and I didn't think I would. I'm not in any way saying like that it's amazing and it's a holy grail. I've had the luxury of trying a lot of, you know, higher end swimwear and I definitely don't think this is like a luxury swimwear company, especially for the price point. I think the price point is bang on for like, a mass audience personally i don't have any issue with the price i think if it had been double the price and with this quality i would have been a bit like okay no it's not worth it but 80 dollars swimwear line by a celebrity it's kind of like what do you expect i mean her makeup palettes are like 40 dollars you know i haven't tried any of the makeup personally it hasn't really interested me but uh that's it for my rant honestly i'm pleasantly surprised if you're here still to the end thank you so much for watching and please give the video a thumbs up so i know to create more review videos like this and definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already all right guys see you next time bye